Craig, what's this incident you're referring to last summer that 50,000 people got fooled by? Well, there's a guy who's back in jail now. He's a lifelong criminal, as a lot of these disinformation type people, uh, YouTubers are. Uh, mm -hmm. I call them clickbait libelers because they they slander and libel people uh, for for money. Either they're paid politically or they're they're monetizing their channels by attacking. And uh, this one of this group, uh, they refer to him as Screwy Louie, Michael Lewis Arthur. He's got like four names. He hoaxed a a child rape camp uh, at a CMEX plant in Tucson last summer. And I got called into it by another fraud and crook who runs a, a management company in Tucson. He called me and told me uh, that there were veterans, which was a lie, that had children in a bunker underground, which was a lie, and that they needed me, that they had chased cartels off of the site, which was a lie, and that law, they were just wanting to safeguard and strong point the position until law enforcement could get there. That was also a lie. Law hmm. enforcement were already there. They'd been there for an hour. Hmm. So, or over an hour. And so, from that, uh, the, the guy made all kinds of claims that there were, uh, you know, there was just an underground bunker. It turned out it was, it was a, a uh, I want to say the word cesspool. It was a septic tank. Ah. Uh, turned on its side underground and he said there's children absolutely being eaten alive here and tortured and raped and i'm like man this place does look creepy that it needs to be investigated because of what he was saying those little they won't investigate it's all a big conspiracy and they're covering it up uh -huh. and he's yelling into his phone he's a meth addict he's all really hyped up but and uh oh boy. by yelling into his phone and saying the sky was falling he got a lot of um unwitting people hyped up and, and believing it and because he told me that um, that law enforcement would not investigate because it did look creepy I videoed it with my phone and I put it up saying hey this needs to be investigated well over the next three or four days we started learning that that guy is a notorious hoaxer he's a fraud and I ended up sitting down with the Tucson Police Department and going through all of the evidence they're like look Craig this bloody knife that he claims to have there, it was actually paint on a kitchen knife. And it was wow. across town at his, wow. his homeless camp, not at this CMEX plant. He said uh, he said there was bodies buried everywhere. He goes, we brought two cadaver dogs, not one, but two. Not one of them ever hit on anything, and they were there for hours. He goes, so no bodies buried. There were no children there. There were no rapists. And he goes, all of our guys had already been there. He said, uh, we've got chest cams, footage. Our officers wear, officers wear chest cams, and he said, you know, obviously, Screwy Louie's not smart enough to realize we wear chest cams. We video everything, and we've got all the documentation and the reports. We've been dealing with this guy, and we've been out there dozens of times, and he's lying about it. I read through all the reports. I saw the detail. I saw the little girl's earring and the Cheerios listed that were down in the bottom of the septic tank. So they had, in fact, been there and been through a thorough inspection of the site. Right. In fact, the first officer that had gotten there uh, when she called in to dispatch, she said, hey, you know, we need to investigate this. And they said, OK, what's what's going on? How many victims are there? Are there any dead? Are there wounded? And she said, no, there's there's nobody here. There's no victims here. And they're like, OK, well, where are the perps? Do you have them arrested? You know, you have them handcuffed or uh, do you need backup? She's like, well, no, there's nobody here for that either. And they're like, well, then just inspect it, document everything and write the report and we'll investigate. Right. And she did. And they did investigate. And so everything after that was complete hoax by this guy, Screwy Louie.